Hello there, Amy Sheffer here with Jelly Bean Soup today. Isn't it fantastic when we can put our card making and scrapbooking supplies to use in home decor ways? I have three different projects to share today, so stick around till the end. Hope you enjoy! First up is the Accordion Fold Tree Placeholder. These accordion trees are everywhere these days, often made of felt. Save yourself some money, they're super easy to DIY. I'm using a bold black and white pattern from Jelly Bean Soup's Garden Harvest collection, along with the tree die from the Winter Wishes stamp and die set. You'll need at least six to eight tree die cuts minimum, but could probably add two to four more if you want a fuller finished tree. I'm using eight die cuts. I've already scored each tree along the center vertical line to make the folding easier. Next, I'll be adhering the trees together accordion style. I found it easier to adhere the trees in pairs first, remember only on one half, and then build the accordion from there. Note also that I only applied glue to the outside edges of the trees. That allows me to insert a dowel rod tree stem up through the center. I've placed a little touch of hot glue to anchor the tree in place on the rod. Next, I've tied on a tiny craft jewelry tag and finished with a wood veneer star. For the tree base, I'm using tiny birch slices, which I found in a set of four at Joann's. They're marketed as birch tags for wedding table decor. I drilled a hole in the birch slice to make inserting the dowel rod easier. And that's it. Pro tip, write out the name before you tie on the tag. It was a little hard for me to maneuver this one in a way that I could write on it, and so I actually had to redo it off camera. Next, I'm creating a simple centerpiece. I'm starting with an inexpensive plain basket. I think this one came from Michael's. To dress it up for the holidays, I've added some buffalo plaid ribbon tied off with a big button. Next, I'll be making a fabric tree accent for the basket. I've cut two trees from twill fabric and a third from ivory cardstock. The cardstock is to make the tree a little bit more sturdy. The first fabric tree is adhered directly to the cardstock, and then the second one is just stitched down through the center. You could do this with a sewing machine, of course, but it's reasonably quick to hand stitch through the center, too. I adhered the tree to the ribbon and basket with some hot glue. One more finishing touch for my holiday table, a Merry Christmas garland. I've pulled out a mixture of cardstock and pattern paper in green, red, black, and gray, and cut a bunch of circles. The letters are from the rosy dot, green dot, and gray chevron alpha beans sticker sets. In between each letter circle, I'll be adding a button. The buttons on each end are tied on, but all the others are simply hot glued. The letter circles are also hot glued onto the twill. And this is how the garland looks on the holiday table. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.